generation of electricity has remained somewhat minimal, yet the conversation around it continues. Well, I went out in Lagos to meet with Henry Boyo, who is doing his beat for the environment and to see the appreciation for solar energy rise. Meet Dr. Henry Boyo, a physics lecturer at the University of Lagos. He designed the Zero Net Energy Building with the aim of reducing environmental emission and pollution. The building produces as much energy as it uses. With the global trend towards sustainability and energy efficient consumption, Dr. Boyo uses solar energy to generate heat using a public satellite dish. Who needs fossil fuel or gas when the sun is available? As the sun rays reflect on the panels, Dr. Boyo tests the level of heat generated from the solar cooker with a piece of paper, a log of wood, and an activated carbon. So it burns without smoke and uh, it's clean energy. At 176 degrees Celsius to 211 degrees Celsius, the temperature is high enough to power the equipment he uses. With a pot in hand and the heat generated, cooking just got easier. All right, three, let's make it four so that we eat one. What we have is the re reflection of the sun rays. These rays, I mean, the waves from the sun carry energy and the energy is focused to where we put the pots. So at the focal point is the image of the sun. And because the sun is really hot, the image is expected to be very hot. So what we're doing is we are using this parabolic concentrator with the films, reflector films there, to bring the image together and concentrate it on the pot there. It's nice, the egg has cracked. Uh, so it's real egg. <laughs> Within five minutes, at the temperature of 210 degrees Celsius, wow. generated by the solar cooker, the egg is hard boiled and ready for consumption. Wow. Let me show you the pot. You'll love it. Also, that they don't think that's um, Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they will pick on. So, hard Cheers. boiled egg. <laughs> Just less than five minutes. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Can you see the taste is different it's from different. the conventional? Yeah, you can actually taste the, mm -hmm. the Na egg, natural. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> the natural. And can you see the yolk? Surrounded by refractory bricks and logs of wood, the smoked fish dryer is one that we can't leave out. It has a lot of uh, refractories around it, and these are high quality refractory bricks. And so, the burning chamber, the combust, the wood burns inside this uh, burning chamber. And so when the wood burns here, all the energy is conserved within the box. Nothing goes out. Now the fish is inside here. This is a drying compartment. Inside here, you can see. Dr. Boyer explains how the dryer conserves energy. Five layers of fish for drying. And uh, the reflector of the cover, the cover acts like the solar concentrator. It reflects the heat energy back on top of the fish, increasing the efficiency, the efficient use of the um, heat energy. So um, eventually we'll find out that this device uses one quarter the amount of wood uh, the conventional uh, fish dryer uses. By making use of renewable energy resources and energy conservation techniques, our eco-hero Henry Boyo is doing his bit in Lagos, Nigeria by reducing wastage and environmental degradation to its barest minimum. So, he is doing his bit for the environment. What are you doing? We would like to know, and we can help you tell the world how you're helping to protect the environment. 
Get in touch through the website, email, and social media platforms showing on your screen. Tell us what you're doing. That's much you can take on the show for today. I want to thank you for being a part of it. So we'll bring you another edition. Bye-bye.